Good afternoon. I forgot to film my introduction to the day one of Vlogmas this morning because we were getting ready to go to church. So I totally forgot. Um, I decided to walk outside because my family just saying the TV needs to be on as loud as it can. So no filming inside, but it's at least it's a nice day. It's really windy, but it's a nice day to be outside. So I'm gonna go sit over there and I like to sit in it. So I'm gonna enjoy the warm, oh, semi-warm, it's like 60 something degrees today. So I'm gonna enjoy the of the movement. I have to open the, keep the gates of the barnyard closed. But, so I'm gonna go sit over here and knit a little bit on my sweater. Um, I'll show you that in a few minutes. But right now it's a whole big barnyard. There's cows. Yep, we have. There's three cows down there. We've got one horse there and we got one horse at the little quickly, so she is in the the round pen. She's doing alright. She's getting better. She's strong as an ox, so not like I'm worried about her too much. But yep, she's doing it. So, alright. Got a little view of my barnyard. We have chickens and cows and horses and dogs and rabbits and yeah I'll show you those over the week over the month as well so here we go. I started knitting these yesterday and hopefully we'll have a cute collection by the time Christmas rolls around. No Indy you're not getting my hat. This um, was inspired by the big knits we don't have anything like that here in the U.S. so I just thought it was cute. Yes the pom-pom is as big as the hat far bigger. Then I also have this one that I made. Just using up some scrap, um, little leftover sock yarn that's really too little to make anything else. So I doubled it up, took two strands, and then more scraps up there. So there's like four or five scraps in this one. This one is um, hedgehog fibers sock yarn that um, I really, really love and I only had a little bit left and I'd already put a square in my blanket and so there's some hedgehog in the pom-pom as well as in the hat. I'm also working on having um doing these one one a day. I did this one yesterday just to try out and to make sure because I, I just made this up as I was going along and so now I have what I want to do. Um, I have to weave in that end. Um, but I want to have 25 of these by Christmas as well. I have a bunch of little bitty scraps that I'm going to use for these as well. I just think they're cute. They're going to be all different colors. This is actually yarn from Bad Sheep Yarns um, out of North Pole, Alaska. I said, you know, that's sort of perfect as my first sock. So I really love her yarn. I have a few different ones of hers that I'll be putting in here. So I'll have my North Pole yarn made into little mini stockings that I'm going to have a garland out of them. I think they're so cute. I just did my a little short row garter heel. Just itty bitty. Um, it was super easy. Um, I started out with eight stitches, four on each needle. I did a um, magic loop and went up to ten and then just kept going until I had about an inch of foot did the heel didn't do it down too small and then I did an inch for the leg and bound off and when I or before I bound off I made this I cord and then just knit it together with the rest of the stitches and so when I put weave this in the I cord will be the little hanger it was super easy I might write it up who knows it, but it was really really easy do. I'm also improving a um, cardigan here. This um, started out, I was going to do the La Pouf by Hedgehog Fibers, um, but then I'm like, no, I don't have enough sock yarn that I wanted to use for a sweater. So I ended up looking at it, doing a couple others, and just pulling a whole bunch of cardigan patterns and basically improvised the raglan with DK weight yarn. I'm doing 12 rows of each color 
it'll be light gray at the top and it'll end up being in a dark gray at the bottom. And instead of just doing a regular row for the where the stripe goes, I slip stitch every other stitch at the color chain at the first row of each new color. So it gives it a cute little texture stitch. Um, little faux color work right there at each. So it's not just a stripey sweater. Um, I thought it was a fun thing to do. And I've really enjoyed knitting it. I've already separated for the sleeves. Um, I separated it for the sleeves. Got the sleeves on there. And I'm uh, right at almost 36 rows below the sleeve. Below the underarm. So I'm really excited about this. So I'll show you progress throughout the month. Yes. We live in a yurt. I don't know if you can see that because of the way the sun's coming on. Uh, yep, we live in a yurt. So. That is, goes to my bedroom, but the cats end up staying on that porch, so we actually blocked it off so that the dog doesn't get up there when we feed kittens. My front door.